Hey there, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making some meals that only take about 20 minutes from start to finish to make. These are perfect if you have a very busy household and you're rushing around in the evenings, you can whip these dinners up really quick. And not to mention these are all pretty family friendly, so let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make them. Starting off with our first recipe, we're gonna make some baked tacos. To begin, you will just wanna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Next, I am chopping up one small yellow onion. As you can see, I also have a small part of a jalapeno here. You do not have to add this. I was just trying to use it up and get it out of my refrigerator. Moving over to my stovetop, I'm going to add one pound of ground beef into my skillet along with the onion and jalapeno. Now I'm just going to go ahead and break all this up and let it cook until the ground beef is cooked all the way through. Once the ground beef is done, go ahead and drain any grease out of there that you may need to. And now we're going to add in one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, about one package of taco seasoning, and then get that mixed together. Moving over to this 9 by 13 casserole dish, you can go ahead and start adding your hard taco shells in here. I like to get the taco shells that have a flat bottom, that way they sit in here just a little bit better. Next, take your ground beef and evenly divide that into each one of the taco shells. Now it's time to add the cheese, so I'm just going to take a Mexican blend cheese and add some of that to each one of the tacos. And now that's all there is to it. You'll go ahead and add those into the oven and let those bake for about seven to eight minutes, just long enough to melt the cheese. Here is what my plate looked like in the end. I went ahead and just added some Mexican rice over there with a little bit of cheese on top. And then on top of my tacos, I just added some lettuce, tomato, a little bit of hot sauce, and sour cream. Next up, we are making some mini buffalo chicken subs, and if you don't like buffalo sauce, then you could also replace this with some barbecue sauce. I'm just taking a bag of this popcorn chicken, not even the whole bag. This is about a third of this bag that we're gonna be using. I'm going to cook these in the air fryer on 360 degrees for about eight minutes. Once they're all done, I added them into this bowl. This has a lid to it, that's why I added it to this one. You're gonna wanna be able to shake these up. Now I'm just drizzling over some buffalo sauce. You can use any type you want and you do not need a lot. A couple tablespoons should do. And then you're just going to shake it up until all of your chicken is covered with that buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce if you choose to go that route. Next, you're going to need some hot dog buns. I really love to use these brioche hot dog buns for this recipe specifically. Inside each one of the buns, you'll just go ahead and add about four to five pieces of the buffalo chicken.
Over top of the chicken, you're going to add some shredded lettuce and then just drizzle it with some ranch dressing. This dinner you can actually pull off in right about 12 minutes. It's very, very quick. After I pulled the chicken out of the air fryer, I just added in a little bit of potato wedges and I sliced up a cucumber there on the side, keeping this really simple. And like I said, if you're not a spicy fan, then do some barbecue sauce and then you can top that with whatever you want to. And now last but not least, of course, we're gonna make some beef and noodles. For this one, in my skillet, I'm just going to add one pound of ground beef. You're also going to want to chop up half of a yellow onion into nice small pieces and add that in there as well. Now, as you can see, I have started some water back here that is boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add in 8 ounces of pasta in there and just let that pasta cook. Meanwhile, your ground beef should be finishing up, so you'll go ahead and just drain any grease off if needed, and then add in about 1-2 to two teaspoons of minced garlic and let that cook for an additional 30 seconds or so. Then you'll add in 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and half a cup of beef broth. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get this all mixed together. You can let this sit and just simmer until your noodles are done, but once the noodles are done, you'll go ahead and drain those and then add the sauce to the noodles. Next, you'll add in a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream and then give this one more good mix together. At this point, you can just add some salt and pepper to your liking. I just added a couple shakes of each and then once it's done, we just added a little bit of cheddar jack cheese over the top and this is what it looked like on my plate. Just like the others, this recipe is fairly simple and comes together really nicely. On the side, I went ahead and just made some steamed broccoli, so this meal ended up taking about 22 minutes in total. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and got some good ideas out of it. Don't forget to leave me a flower down in the comments below to let me know that you made it all the way through, and I will see you back here on Sunday for a new video. Bye!